Hi guys, we're the Wanderlust Storytellers. I'm Jolene. Hi, it's Andre. And today we want to talk about whether Austria is baby and toddler friendly. So we've been to loads of different countries in the world, in Asia, in Europe, and... Um... We've seen everything that the kids do on the trips, so I can tell you all about it. Yeah. Our um, little one is two years old, so we are probably mostly going to be talking from a toddler perspective but we'll give you some insight into what it would be like with a baby here as well so we're going to share some positives we're going to share a negative and we're going to let you guys decide whether you want to come to austria with your little one so what was cool. the first positive well let's start with the airbnb <laughs> since we are standing in our airbnb looking over the uh st wolfgang sea lake I mean, being in Airbnbs is amazing, but in Austria it's really cool because they look after you really, really well. We get like high chairs, we get different things happening for us, but in this one specific one, we even got like rocking chairs, uh, you know, like toys, everything. You know, these guys are looking after you really, really well. Um, yeah. That yeah, and on that one. note, they're not even charging us, no, no extra you cost, know, yeah. for the baby cribs. Um, which normally in a lot of countries, if you happen to get one on an Airbnb, they would be charging you for it. So, so we've been really, really grateful for for that. And we are not talking about those cribs that are, you know, the old school ones. They all like, you know, <laughs> folded out ones, really good, fitted out with all the bits and pieces. You know, the, the, the uh, blankets, pillows, blankets, pillows, pillows everything. Yeah. Yeah. So it makes life a lot easier. But you got it all. Because the, then, yeah. then you don't have to bring your own crib and let's face it we don't want to bring stuff if you don't need it it's 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 challenging enough traveling with a little one without having to drag a lot of stuff with you so and, and we, that's on, awesome on, on top of that we love uh working with well staying at airbnbs as well with the kids because it's more homely so it, you get to get that experience with with your kids what it's really like in austria so number two one of the things that our little two-year-old specifically loved here in Austria is animals. We've been yeah. blown away by how many animals we've been in. And we haven't like specifically gone to try and find animals. Yeah. <laughs> but we went to one restaurant and um, they actually had rabbits and horses and deers and donkeys. And um, I think I'm missing something. Like but a they, mini zoo. But they yeah. had so many animals. And our little daughter was just in seventh heaven, like she was just going nuts meeting all of these animals. There's, you know, generally people walking their dogs and they're always happy to stop. The dogs are friendly. We've seen ducks, we've seen swans. It's just, we even you know, have, it keeps them busy. Yeah, we Honestly, have, bring a bit of bread or whatever for the ducks and, and they're happy and you can just relax. So that's really good. We even have a cow with a bell on her neck. It's like in front of our house just here, you know, in the mm. back. So it's just, yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> Yeah. So next one. Number three, the the friendliness, you know, I mean the friendliness of the people here. They're welcoming, they help you out. If you're in the shop, they like, you know, show you around a little bit, you know. If you're with a stroller, they will help you out, you know, guide you along, stuff like that. So it's very 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 good. Very in good. comparison to other countries where we have really struggled with a bit of judgment and people like, you know, not not specifically enjoying our daughter <laughs> around. <laughs> Austria is really, really nice because we haven't had that. Yeah. Um, so the next positive is how easy it is to get around with a stroller. So we've been to beautiful countries such as Italy where there's gazillion stairs everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, it's, it's just a pain if your baby's little um, to take a stroller around to some of those places in Italy. But here in Austria, we have found that towns are super easy to explore with a stroller. We've been to abbeys and museums which had lifts, so we could literally explore the whole entire place without having to drag our stroller upstairs or have to leave it behind because we could just go up the lift, go down the next lift, go this way, that way, and people are opening gates for us and they've been so helpful. So that's been awesome. Good. Yeah. Another positive is uh, the restaurants, you know, when you go out and eat with your kids, it's, it's no problem, you know, I mean, you, you get, um, yeah, served really well, yeah, they, they really look after you, yeah. yeah. I'm having a mind blank. Yeah, he is. Yeah, like, <laughs> boop. <laughs> um, so, the last positive point is how easy it is to get your baby supplies in the shops. Um, we're in a 
pretty the towns here are really tiny and small and the supermarkets are really tiny but they've yeah. got your baby supplies they've got your nappies and stuff like that so so you can just go and grab whatever you need you don't have to bring suitcases and suitcases full of your stuff um, to get you through the trip so that's that's always really really handy yeah. good, a good quality too stuff yeah, yeah. So that um, brings us to the negatives, <laughs> which there isn't really many of or any of. Yeah, and that's a plus, isn't it? Um, the only, literally, and we were racking our brains. We were like, "Oh, we always do positives and negatives. What is the negative?" And the, literally, the only thing I could think of, and this is a very personal thing, I guess, because our little one hates the car. Even when we came down back, back from the hospital after she was born, she lost her voice from the screaming yeah, yeah. in the car. Now, my two oldest kids loved the car and they slept in the car. So this would not be a problem for my two oldest kids if we were traveling with them in Austria when they were babies. But this specific little monkey of ours hates the car. <laughs> Austria requires to get from one place to the other. If you actually want to see Austria, not just go to one single isolated spot, you are going to either have to take the trains or probably preferably get a car rental so that you can yeah. get around by yourself. And there's a quite a bit of driving involved. So if your little one hates the car, you are going to have to deal with quite a lot of screaming in order to get from here to there, which can make it hard. We've, but um, yeah. but most babies love the car and love sleeping in the car and that would not be an issue for you at all. But yeah, that is literally <laughs> The we've only been to, thing I could think of. We've been to many countries, so we've already practiced our routine in driving. So we always bring along the iPads, you know, the rechargeable cables so we can connect them straight away. Snacks. So snacks, everything. Blah, blah. Any bribery that you can take, bring with you to Austria because you will be in the car for a bit. But it's no dramas driving here. The, the roads yeah. are wide. Uh, the Austrians are really good drivers. You know, you can drive a, a bit slower, but if you get on the highway, you're gonna, you ex expect to drive faster. Okay, so yeah, all good. Yeah, that has nothing to do with babies. Mm -hmm. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <Yeah. laughs> always bring your man husband mm. along Cut to come that and, out. you know. <laughs> I just like driving, man. <laughs> Get okay? lost in his own little <laughs> mind. <laughs> Drive with your kids. All right. So yeah. on that note, <laughs> yep. I think Austria, Austria is a brilliant destination to come and visit with little ones it's slower paced it's laid back there's so much to see so much beautiful natural stuff that you can parks play parks you know that you can go and check out feed some ducks or whatever next to the lake yep. it's 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 really lovely our little one has enjoyed the boats we've she's she loves the cable cars it's so, so um, cool man. so it's it's yeah, yeah it's a really good place to bring your kids so if you want to see what we've been doing in Austria We've got some videos on our channel as well and make sure you subscribe so that we can share more with you. We're off to Germany as well on this trip. So we've got loads more videos coming. Thanks for watching guys. See ya. Bye. Bye. <laughs>